In my video last Friday, I talked about lowering your expectations and expecting failure. I just wanted to kind of expound on that issue right now. I think that from a very early age, we're taught to not fail. Or that it's just not okay to fail. Our education system right now is based on a series of wins. You just aren't allowed to fail. And I just don't think that's good enough. One of the reasons I support art education so much is that you're allowed to take chances and risks and do stuff that's not right. It encourages a certain amount of failure. You try things out, if they don't work, it's fine. You just do something else. Or you take certain aspects of what did work and put them into a new project. I think that's one of the reasons I hate standardized testing. There's only one right answer and one wrong answer. There's no in-between. It goes back to the binary issue, it goes back to my education issues, it goes back to basically everything I've talked about for the past three months. I certainly don't claim to be any kind of expert in education or the way the system works or anything like that, but my observation is that right versus wrong just never really works. Okay, take that back. It works in one instance, math equations. But even then, that only works in non-theoretical mathematics, and some mathematicians would argue that non-theoretical mathematics aren't actually mathematics. Silly math nerds. So basically, we're set up from a very early age to fear being wrong. If you're wrong, you get punished, you fail, you, you know, don't progress in school systems, etc., etc. And if you answer those standardized questions in the very correct manner, you progress and you become super rich and famous. Well, the fact is, many failures have turned into humongous wins for people. The guy that invented post-it notes was trying to create a super, super sticky bonding glue. He failed, and yet he's super rich. So my problem is basically that we just make failure such a horrible thing to do that people aren't willing to take chances. Like me, for instance, I was so afraid of failure in grade school that I just stopped trying. It was the only way to assure some kind of result. I knew that I was going to fail if I didn't do the work, but I didn't have any idea what was going to happen otherwise. The fear of failure despite enormous effort was so crippling to me that I just stopped working altogether. It stifled my creativity for years because I was still so afraid of failing despite trying so hard at something. That's the world we're living in these days. That's what we're teaching our children. Don't try something new because you might fail at it and failing sucks. The point is it's not a bad thing to fail. It just is what it is. There's no shame in failure. So why do we teach our kids that there's shame in failure? Why are they so crippled by the fear? There's an article on CNN entitled How to Deal with Hashtag Epic Fail. The author of the article argues that Sometimes we just have to fess up to our failures. That there's actually a failure on the part of government and politicians to admit to failure. When they screw up, they don't want to admit it. They want to cover it up. And it's one reason we just don't like to trust them. So do yourself a favor. Take chances, fail sometimes, and admit to those failures. And I think you might have a better life. I do.